like bacon and eggs and sausage and ham? Or how about Laverne and Shirley? How about, I don't know, peanut butter and jelly? What do they all have in common? They're all best friends. You know who else was best friends for a long time now? Law of Attraction and Emotion Code. You know, I've been producing 268 live shows every Friday, focused on the Law of Attraction initially, and then, then we added my second book, NLP, and then I added my third book, Your Life Purpose, and then eventually I've been adding Emotion Code, so there's been a natural transition, and people are thinking, maybe, maybe you're thinking, um, you know, why am, I, why am I doing both? Now, Dr. Bradley Nelson certified me with the Emotion Code, uh, and I kind of merged the uh, both together because they're so important. So today, that's my job, is to explain to you why Law of Attraction and Motion Code are best friends. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loge, and I am the author of three best-selling books. This one here in particular, Law of Attraction, I sold over 3 million copies in 37 languages. I also hosted my own radio show on Oprah and Friends for a year and was interviewed by her four times on the subject of Law I know what I'm talking about. And now I want to introduce you or have been introducing you to the Emotion Code with my other show, The Bro Show, which is held on Saturday. And uh, that show introduces people to the Emotion Code and lets them know um, how it can help their lives. So that's what I'm going to cover today. Now, just so you know, this next little piece we're going to cut out before we put this video on YouTube because it's only going to be offered to people that are watching live or the replay on Facebook. So I know as a business person, and you know, that 2019 or the beginning of a new year, uh, everyone's making goals. And I know that you know that I know that we make goals and we don't keep them or we have promises or we disappoint ourselves or we don't get our goals and we keep doing the same thing over and over. I want you to listen to this carefully. Matter of fact, Kareem Beach Murray, write this down. The only way to get a different result is to send a different vibration. I'll say that again. The only way to get a different result is to send a different vibration. So if you're setting your goals with the same vibration that you had last year, you're going to get the same results. I didn't create the rule. I'm teaching it. So I can help you with that, and I, I'll promise I can help you with that because I'm in the business of helping people change vibration. And when your vibration changes, guess what? So do your results. I'll say it again. The only way to get a different result is to send a different vibration. And changing your thoughts briefly changes the vibration, but it soon goes back to that old thought, I can't have it, I'm not worthy, I'll never have a good business, and, and whatever that, whatever, the, I'm, not, I'm not connecting with people, I'm not finding customers, whatever that story is, is your vibration. I'll say it again. The only way to get a different vibration, a result is send a different vibration. That's what I do. So really briefly, I put, I have a package that I'm selling. It is a heart wall emotion code session. Now, for those of you that might be new to the heart wall, the heart wall is a, sorry, the emotion code rather, is a book written by Dr. Bradley Nelson. And it explains and teaches practitioners like myself how to identify which of these 60 emotions are unprocessed. You know how when you have a negative experience in your life and you're really ticked off and then you do something, you know, you, you know, break dishes or you get ticked off and then you say, ah, there, I got rid of that. Well, guess what? You didn't. Part of some of those emotions stayed behind and they got trapped. And Dr. Bradley Nelson calls them trapped emotions and they're trapped uh, because they can't get out. And they're about the size of baseball and they're, they're physical energy. There are specific ones that are gathered around your heart and it's called the heart wall, which means a wall of unprocessed negative emotions around your heart. Well, where did they come from? In many places, they came from past relationships. Maybe that deal that went wrong with that client or that big, or maybe that time you got fired or maybe that time this happened. When those events happen, some of the emotions get trapped. So now as an adult business person, you're trying to make a decision, but you've got fear for that or you're scared to get rejected or you're scared to go to a networking meeting or you're not connecting with people or you're ticking people, you know, you're ticking people off. It's because of the vibes that are coming from your heart. Now with this package, I'm gonna do a heart wall session, which means, I'm going to remove all the trapped emotions that are protecting your heart from sending and receiving, uh, listen to the list, prospects, ideal clients, repeat clients, referrals, and opportunities. I'm going to clear all the trapped emotions gathered around your heart 
that are blocking and stopping you. Then you get my four part law of attraction course. It's online and it's gonna teach you the three step formula. My whole book is about it. Imagine clearing all your beliefs and trapped emotions that are blocking and stopping you from attracting prospects, customers and clients and then applying law of attraction to it. What a combination that is. Law of attraction and emotion code are best friends. You see with law of attraction, now, so now we're talking about everyday life. So when we're talking about law of attraction always eavesdropping on our vibration, whether it's negative or positive, we're getting more of that match. And with the emotion code, this is where they become best friends. With the emotion code, practitioners, or you could learn to do it yourself, are removing these trapped emotions. So if I was to measure your vibration before a session and after a session with a vibrational meter reader and scan you, your vibration wouldn't be the same. It'd be against the law because I'm removing baseball size, unprocessed negative vibrations from your heart, your heart's different. People will connect with you differently. They'll respond to you differently. You relate all that old BS that was stacked up on your heart was causing the problems that you're having with customers and clients and referrals and so on and so on. Hey, welcome to the final Friday Hangout with Michael Show. After 268 episodes, Today I'm, I'm explaining the merge between law of attraction and emotion code and why they're so important. I've been very successful with um, uh, uh, emotion code, uh, sorry, with law of attraction. And then when I applied emotion code to it, everything changed and particularly my healthcare and my body, I did everything with law of attraction. But boy, removing these trapped emotions that are causing lots of challenges in my life and your life will make a big difference. Welcome, let me know that you're here, say hello. Also, I want you to mark your calendar for January 1st. I am going to be giving you the top eight points that I covered in 268 episodes with the downloadable printer. Nice little infographic you can put on your wall. So, I'm gonna welcome some friends that have joined us. Oh, by the way, that business package, it is 60% off. Uh, we're gonna have to cut this out too, I guess. It's 60% off. So in Canadian, it's regular $261. It's about $104, not about, it's $104 with tax Canadian. That's a 25 minute heart wall session with me. Guess what, we're gonna do more than that. A four uh, NL, a law of attraction program and access to my vibrational business plan, which I have mine right here, which I use to plan my business, not a traditional business plan. The US is $249, it's on for $99.60. Uh, Delilah's gonna put the link inside here, plus we sent it to our database yesterday. Okay, end of that, let's begin again. Okay, I'm welcoming Kareem Beach Murray, one of the first ones to join us, and Holly Peters is with us, and Joan Lawrence, good morning everybody. Janice Prashard, she's solo this morning, good morning. Holly Carson's giving me a wow. Uh, Natasha Paula Samuel, our friend from the UK, she's looking forward to the final last Friday hangout show. Now, I might do impromptu ones, like I did one last night, uh, I think like at six o'clock or something, I forget what the time was, and it was fun. I thought, well, I'm not giving it up. I'm just giving up doing it Fridays. I'm still here on Saturdays with John with the Bro Show. Sheldon Foster is giving me a good morning. Uh, happy Friday uh, from Tara. Tara. Yeah, Victoria Gallagher, whoa, a tie. Yeah, I know, I kind of dressed up for today. Our friend Helena Jenikin. Oh, uh, Sheldon Foster wants to know where I got this big poster, which is really a shower curtain, and it's pixels, P-I-X-E-L-S dot com. Don Boems, great to be here. Thank you, Don, good morning. Anthony Pinelli's with us from San Francisco. Doug Collins from Halifax, or Moncton, New Brunswick, rather. Joe Luce Velt from Phoenix. Kelly Carson's giving me a good laugh. So, yeah, so, you know, um, you know, when I had Dr. Brad on one of the shows here, right, we did ask him about that. And, you know, he birthed this beautiful answer, and I've made it my own into helping people understand it. You know, law of attraction, again, I'm just going to get something out here. Law of attraction is always responding to your vibe. And right now you're sending a vibe. You're not even doing it on purpose. You're just sending a vibe. And with the emotion code, 
what we're getting rid of is negative vibes. And I really wish we had a vibration. I wish I could put an app on my phone and scan myself, but I don't need one of those because I can tell what my vibration is by how I feel. So if I have a really strong negative vibration about something, and you know, this happens, people are using emotion code, that they have anger and they have depression and anxiety and fear and sh sh whatever, the, whatever they're experiencing, that's an unprocessed negative emotion causing them to have that feeling. And that negative emotion is causing you to send it. And law of attraction doesn't know whether it's good or bad or whether you want it or don't, it's responding to it. And that cycle will keep happening. Years of therapy will not get rid of that vibration. You know what gets rid of it? A magnet. I know, the magnet. You can talk and walk your way through lots of reasoning and go back and talk about the story over and over again, talk about what fears you, but until you get rid of that stuck, unprocessed negative emotion, and then when you do, you can feel the results. And it's like, ah, right away, people are feeling results with emotion code. Imagine having an emotion code session, you know, PTSD, for example, the storage of all those memories and the triggers with all those feelings. Imagine, and you know, Dr. Bradley believes so much that the PTSD uh, can be successfully treated with the emotion code. He was giving the book away for free to PTSD um, sufferers, if I can call it that. How much confidence is that? So if there's such a relationship. It's all about energy, and if you can remove now, before we you know. You've, been, you've watched me teach the three-step formula. You know, the first step is what do I want? Well, here's what I want. You know, that's the, that's the easy part. Step two is, well, how do I give it attention? Well, we've been talking about that. You know, do, talk about it, write about it, make a collage, tell 10 friends, put it in a bubble, whatever you need to do. But the third step has been, you know, probably the most asked question is allow it. Well, how do I do that? Now, the challenge with allowing is you can't go directly to it. You can't say, well, I'm just going to go allow. You see, allowing is something that happens when you remove negative vibration. And negative vibration is usually caused by doubt. And now we're understanding it's also caused by these unprocessed, stored negative emotions. On one hand, you say you want to have something. And on the other hand, you have these stored negative trapped emotions from a previous event that's in the way, and then when you say you want something, your subconscious mind says, no can do. Remember, remember that contract that you failed on or, or that problem that you had? It's when we say, oh, it's coming back to haunt me. <laughs> you know, it's, this is the haunting right here. These old unprocessed trapped emotions are the haunting. So the speed at which you'll attract anything is determined on how much you're allowing. So our job is to do what we need to do to help us allow more. Is it removing the words don't, not, and no? Absolutely. Is it to reduce the negative people in your life? Yes, it is. it is. Is it to seek proof so you can remove doubt? Yes, it is. And how about the unconscious negative trapped emotions you didn't even know you had that are blocking, stopping you? Hence the emotion code. Okay, I'm going to say hello to some more friends that are joining us. Thanks if you're watching. Let me know that you're here, please. Uh, let's see. Okay, wow, lots of activity out there today. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, Anthony Pinelli, what the tie is going on? What the tie is going on? Uh, Natasha Paula Samuel, our UK friend. She definitely knows what Marks and Spencer's is. They're best friends, too. Ola from Tweet Calvins. And uh, Kareem Beach Murray remembers Marks and Spencers. Uh, Susan Arthur, happy holidays. The great British MS, Marks and Spencers. Okay. Janice Pritchard gave me a lost hashtag Law of Attraction and Emotion Code are best friends. Now, the quote of the day the only way to get a different result is setting a different vibration, setting, sending, having one. Uh, Helena says, I'm in the process, or sorry, she liked my quote, I'm in the business of helping people change their vibration. Yeah, tell that to somebody at the sitting beside you on an airplane. But I do have a classic answer for that. Say yes if you want to hear my airplane answer. Peter Scott Stringham, thank you for a wonderful show. Enjoyed five years of great LOA lessons. 
Well, thank you, Peter Scott Stringham. Uh, I see Delilah has put the link out there on the 2019 special. That's the emotion coach session with me. You remove all the trapped emotions and heart walls that are blocking and stopping you from getting all those great things. Kim Whitner is saying hello, and our friend Premier Perrin from uh, Vancouver Island. Kareen is saying, uh, best friends that go together like peanut butter and honey. And <laughs> Doug Collins is suggesting peanut butter and bacon. Okay. Turned into the, shot, the um, food channel. Yeah, mark your calendar for January 1st. Helene is reminding us about that. Marlilia is from Brazil. Good morning, Marlilia. And uh, she's giving me a good afternoon. Nice to have you with us. Okay. Oh, yeah, Curly Bert's Mercy. The magnet goes every. Listen, I was bringing my magnet to the to the gym three times a week and using it every time. So now, no one from the gym is watching. Now I've got magnets around the gym, up on different pieces of equipment because you know I was having that in my pocket. It would fall out, and I was scared to lose it. So now it's they're hidden around the gym. Hashtag. They're hidden at the gym. Doug Collins is saying, well, that's not the explanation we heard in the secret movie. Love your LOA teachings much better. Thank you. Our friend Heather is in Eastern Canada. No, I don't mean Toronto. I mean Eastern, the very last province, and she's north, and it's very cold there, I bet. Cynthia is with us and Pamelia Bell's with us. So good morning, everybody. So I'd like to hear what your opinions are about, um, or, or why don't you give me a summary point? I'm gonna get into teacher mode. Give me a summary point of what, I'm, what I mean by law of attraction and emotion code are best friends. What does that mean anyway? Good, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me those. We can do that as well. Holly's saying, I'm looking forward to your New Year's Day show, what time? Same time, 9 o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. A couple of days before, I'm going to give the link so you can print off. Oh, where is it? Okay, it's not right in front of me. But I, uh, I had a designer design an infographic with all the eight points. So I want you guys to print it. I was going to wait till after the show, but... People watching the replay will be able to download it before. So we're going to give you that opportunity too. So Holly Peters, if you can write that down, 9 a.m. PT, 12 noon ET, January 1st. Kim Whitner gave me a magnets hidden at the gym. Thank you. Familia Bell's giving me a nice. Yolanda Parker's in the house. Okay, here's my airplane answer. I'm at the airport or someone sitting beside me. Well, do you know how you hear about people that keep attracting negative things over and over and over and they don't really know why? Or, you know, every time they say they want something, they always get the opposite. But what I do is I teach people why that happens to them and teach them how to stop attracting what they don't want, start attracting what they do want, and be silent, shut up to myself. Oh, really? How do you do that? Do you know how you hear about people that... Um, have had chronic pain forever. They've tried everything, the lotions and the potions and the rubs. They've tried everything to get rid of the chronic pain, but it always comes back. Well, what I do is I help people uncover what's creating that chronic pain and literally remove it with them a few feet away. Period. End of sentence. Don't say anything else. What's the next question? Holy S balls, how do you do that? Hey, listen, if you're an Emotion Code practitioner tomorrow, or you want to be rather, uh, you're interested in taking the program, tomorrow's course, um, you know, I'm by myself today and tomorrow John's skiing, so good for him. So tomorrow I'm going to give you my strategy for you if you're considering taking the Emotion Code because, you know, you know where do you get started? What does it look like? What happens? What do I need to have? So I'm mostly telling you about how I can support you in uh, understanding the process and giving you a 25-minute mentor session. I'm going to explain that tomorrow, so be sure to join me. I'm going back to the chat, the chat now, and I'm going to um, find out what you have to say 
about your interpretation of law of attraction and emotion code being best friends. Okay, I'm just scanning up here to see who's saying what. Uh, yeah, Natasha thinks it's funny that I have magnets. They're in my car too. Jennifer Towner's going to watch the replay. So Yolanda's saying, we attract what we focus on. So if we focus on past hurts, that could be what stays inside. Well, it's not staying inside because you're focused on it. It's staying inside because it's trapped. Beautiful question. So the question is, am I um, focusing on it? Because it's evident, it's there already. It's already stored there. So, and even if you're not focused, this is a good point, Yolanda, even if you're not focusing on it, you're still sending that negative vibe without knowing that you are. And that's why we get that. Okay, Holly Peters, we're just reminding everybody, the New Year's Day show, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, 11 CST on January 1st. So uh, thank you there. Okay. Ashton Faulkner is telling Kevin Dennis about today's show. Hey, what if y'all did that? It'd be really interesting. Thank you, Ashton. Well, good stuff. So yeah, uh, today is the final show today. And I thought, so today being the final show, I thought it would be uh, good to help everybody understand the, that my interest in law of attraction and the emotion code and why I'm so uh, passionate about teaching other uh, certified practitioners through Dr. Brandon Nelson, how to build their business and how to be successful doing the work. Uh, it, it could be years before it kind of tips over and everybody understands about us. So this is the time to learn it and get really good at it. And you could even build a business, you know, uh, being an emotion code practitioner. And uh, I merge it really nicely with my law of attraction work. Matter of fact, my law of attraction seminar here in Victoria, uh, it's a three and a half hour seminar. In the last half hour, it's emotion code. And I bring people to the front of the room. I mean, that's how committed I am to both subjects. So, good. Let me know something that you heard today. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, C.O. Santos from Brazil is saying, uh, your book is amazing. Hey, I want to tell you a quick little secret about my book sales in Brazil. I sold 400,000 copies of my book in Brazil. And you know how they were sold? 90% of them were sold door to door. And I'm not sure about the culture, but I think what happens is that people get a bunch of books and they go to businesses and they go to door to door. 400,000 copies of my book. So Santos, I'm not sure how you got your book. Let me know, that'd be interesting. You're saying, I wanna be more aware of the signs of law of attraction in my daily life. How can I do this? Is there an exercise or something to train my mind? There is. I want you to go to, and I want you to write this in the chat so other people can get it too. Go to hangoutwithmichael.com, and at the top, you'll see Law of Attraction. Click that on. I have a 30-minute training session that is, I would make it mandatory for everybody. It's going to explain Law of Attraction, how does it work, what words to eliminate, why am I attracting negative things, and how can I reset my vibe. So I'm going to say it again. Hangoutwithmichael.com, and look for the Law of Attraction. Click it on, then subscribe, and then you'll be in my Law of Attraction school, and you'll have the video and the workbooks and so on. Kareem Beach Murray shared today's show. Thank you. Okay, let's see. We have law, uh, law of Attraction Emotion Code is the formula for joy. Okay, thank you. Who else do we have here? Uh, we heard from Kareem. We've heard from Janice Ashton. I know Ashton. I am a little overweight. Thanks for noticing. There we go. I'm just going to delete and ban him. Guy. Okay. Okay, good work. I'm taking more questions. If you have more questions, let me know. I'm here to take your questions on the last show of the Hang Out with Michael show. Who's that going to be? Okay, that might wrap up today's show, 926, record time, probably one of the shortest shows that we've had here on Friday's Hang Out with Michael show. Uh, as always, I'm going to read your comments later today. If you're interested, let me know. I will connect with you. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. 
on today's episode. Cheers.